Hey everybody, Slippery Slope here, and this is the second video in the C Sharp series. Now, you should have seen this window from the first tutorial. If not, you're going to want to go back and watch that, unless you already have this sucker installed and open, in which case, good stuff. Now, in order to make a new project, we could click New Project here, or we could go up to File and then hit New Project, or Control shift n uh, right now, let's just hit this little uh, text link right here. And if your computer is better than mine, congratulations, you got here before me. Um, what we want to do is a Windows Forms application. And in a sec, I'm going to tell you what, the, what that means, what Windows Form application is. So um, let's just hit OK. Let's not bother changing the name to something else because what the hey, why not? We're not doing anything too specific. So, so I'm waiting for this to load. And once it loads, I'll have something to tell you. I will, I promise. I could start singing while we wait. Um, zippity doo da. There we go. Uh, this is a form. You see where it says form one? This is where we put stuff. Does that sound really specific to you? Probably not, but we're going to be working within this sucker. Um, you can resize the form by clicking down here. You see where your cursor turns into an arrow? Might be a, this up-down vertical arrow or this diagonal arrow, depending horizontal, depending on uh, where you're hovering over the form. You can stretch it out and make it look like, say, a rectangle, a nice big old square, a really small rectangle that that's just really small. Uh, but yeah, this is fine. Just want to show you how to resize it. Now, what we want to do is we want to open controls. So my controls ain't even open. Um, I got this data sources thing, which we're not going to go over today. So I have to go up to view and keep my color scheme. Gosh, my computer. And <laughs> um, we want to go to other windows and we want to hit toolbox and from here eh, common controls that'll do us just fine um, notice that i clicked out of toolbar toolbox and uh, i went away and it automatically closed that on me so if that happens don't freak out you know you know the world ain't over uh here are just a few common controls we have the pointer and you should know what a pointer is it's right there on your screen uh button check box um, a label some other things too. Radio button. You ever uh, see uh, any surveys, any forms that have these little buttons that you click? And that pretty much means you can only have one option clicked at a time. Uh, yeah, so this is just a few common things. Let's try placing some of them on this form. There's a button. There's a label. There is a text box. And you would never make a form that looks this ugly unless you wanted to do it on purpose. But uh, we're just goofing around, being goofy, because that's all we really want to do today. So it's not be goofy, but go over stuff uh, without any other specific purpose in mind. Now, we can drag, uh, as I just did, I just went here and just drag stuff right there onto the form. I'm going to hit delete, and it's gone. Or you can do this. You can click that and not drag, but just go over to your form any regular old way. And you'll see that plus sign and that looks like an AB to me. And you could just make it whatever size and stretch it out like that. I don't really want that. I don't see a reason to have a button to. So I went ahead and deleted it. But you can do that instead of dragging stuff onto the form. What else? Um, you can move the buttons around and you see this automatic line that just kind of syncs up like that, kind of locks in. Um, that's pretty cool. Or if you, you see this, these pale lines, uh, at least they, they look pale to me, just hanging out near the edge of our form when our button is close to the edge. Or in this case, this is a text field and not a button. Um, yeah. Just some cool built-in stuff to make uh, your form look a little bit more professional. If you're like me and have trouble lighting things up because I'm a silly goose. Uh, what else can I tell you guys before, without being super confusing, 
hmm, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to resize this text box. There I go. So you can resize whatever control just by doing that, just by uh, dragging it on out. And you can also hold down Alt and move your stuff around like that. There goes my button, my text field I just moved. There's my label. Yeah, pretty easy. Um, next thing I want to go over is we want properties to be open. And right now it ain't for me, so I'm going to go to View. And I'm going to go to hmm, Other Windows and Properties window. And there we go. This window just popped up on my screen. And I could rename things. I could rename the name, which isn't the same as the text displayed on the control structure, just to let you know. Uh, or on the control, rather. Control structure, that's a tricky way of wording it. Let's just call it control. Uh, and I could change things like, say, the back color. I'll change it to active border. Or I could change it to, ooh, highlight. Yeah, that's a pretty little blue color. Uh, pretty cute. Uh, I could change the font. Now it's Microsoft Sans Serif uh, 8. I could change it to, uh, ooh, the Sonic Title font. Yeah, no, let's not do that. Uh, Bookman Old Style. Um, or let's say Boodle. No. Uh, Bradley Hand IPC. There we go. Yeah, that's really small, though. But let's just keep because all I wanted to do was show you guys what you can do. Uh, and we could just take this text instead of a generic old button one, we could say, how about you click here, question mark, and I will make this button bigger. There we go. So that all the text is displayed. And mm, this is not <laughs> necessary, but I'm going to make the text a little bit bigger. And yeah. There we go. So um, that is properties in a nutshell. And I do want to go over uh, coding really soon. And uh, how about I just show you something right here, right now. If I double click this, uh, I can go ahead and type code right now. Uh, see this uh, form1.cs appeared. I can type in message box dot show. You don't have to type this up if you want to code. That's just one thing you can code. And within these quotations, I could put blah, blah, blah. Now, I'm not really explaining this because I'm going to do that in next video, future video, probably next video. Um, but I just want to show you guys how to code. And I'm going to debug by hitting that green arrow up top. I click this button, and a message box appears saying blah, 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 blah. So that's it in a nutshell, uh, what this system looks like, what this Visual Studio, particularly for C Sharp, looks like. And uh, that's how to interact with it. So we're going to move on and do some coding next time. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. Slippery Slip signing out. Peace.